Honorable members, order. Order. All down, our members, sit down. Wamboka, take your seat. Order. Order. Order, honorable members, Wamchomba. Order, take your seats. Order. Order, honorable members, take your seats. Take your seats. Honorable Mbeo, take your seat. Order. Honorable members, take your seats. Honorable members, take your seats. Take your seats. Honorable. Honorable Mbeo, take your seat. Honorable Kogo, take your seat. Take your seats. Take your seats, Honorable Mbeu. Order. Order, Honorable Members. Order, order. Take your seats. Order, Honorable Members. Sergeant and your team, you can retreat. Order, Honorable Members. Thank you. Honorable Members. Order. Honorable members, since I became your speaker, I have not had any occasion to send any member out for misconduct. I'm not about to exercise that duty and right. I want to urge you, even when passions are high, we maintain decorum, we maintain respect for each other, each one of us here is distinctly and individually elected to carry the dignity of the people who elected you in this house. And we don't carry those uh, dignities bestowed upon us by either dancing on the floor or speaking with very high pitches and notes in your voices or generally showing that you have the capacity to employ your hands instead of your brain. <laughs> I want to urge you as members that these proceedings are televised and your electors, your husbands, your wives, your children, people who admire you, people who admire you, Honorable Wanjala, I will not give you the distinction of expulsion. I want you to reflect and see that out of 349 members, if you are the only one trying to look different, then there's something severely wrong. And uh, having been with you, Angela, for all these years, I thought uh, well, os osmosis has worked in some form. <laughs> Honorable members, I want uh, us to bring this debate to an end. Honorable Sabina Chege was given an opportunity to speak. Honorable Wandai was given an opportunity to speak. Honorable uh, Majority Leader was given an opportunity to speak. And all the members who spoke, have the right to speak the way they spoke, have the right to defend Sabina or to prosecute Sabina, depending on which uh, school of thought you hold on the matter or which party position you are taking. But the ultimate responsibility and decision lies with your speaker, and I'll bring you a reasoned ruling in due course. Honorable Senior Counsel Tienda, I have tremendous respect for you. Allow me to close this debate now.
As my distinguished learned junior, I'm sure you understand very well that uh, when we say we close, we close. I know you are a man who speaks very sensibly, but unlikely to raise passions. If you have any matter to add to what I'm going to rule, I give you the freedom to write to me a small note. I want to close this matter here. And uh, on number one day, this was not a motion, so there's no right of reply. Yes, there's no right of reply. And I want order, I need no help. Honorable members, I need no order, honorable one day. You know, let me tell you, members, what has just happened here is uh, not strange. In a democratic dispensation, sometimes we take leave of our senses and uh, do strange things. But the moment you realize that, you quickly recollect yourself and sit back as an honorable member. That's what I urge you to do. As your speaker, I want to go on record as leading an orderly house, a house of reason, a house where when an issue comes and you have the opportunity to speak, speak to the facts and not to individuals or casting emotions that are total and helpful and unnecessary. We will make a reasoned ruling that will uh, give you direction and set precedents to assist this 